What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Soul Blazer. Today we head towards the latest unlocked area that, uh, no longer has any fish statues for us to deal with. Uh, there are fish statues remaining, but I... What I meant to say is, uh, we go to the area that most recently had the fish statue removed, which would be down here. And down here we have to, uh, well, th this is where the three remaining monster layers are, for one thing. Oh god. There's ocean wildlife all over the place. Kill them. 12,400 experience is when I level up. Uh, before I step on that, I should probably finish off this monster lair here. I'm not sure why I'm lagging, but whatever. Come on, come at me. There you go. Okay. See, it's a good thing I stepped on that, or cleared out the other lair first. If I hadn't, then I would have had to re-kill those jellyfish. So, head around here. These stingray things are obviously a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, they really like shooting stuff at you, and obviously the projectiles are quite big. The best way to deal with them, I find, is kind of like those, uh grass tree things in, uh, what's it called? Not Greenwood, but the the dungeon in Greenwood. In that you kind of want to let them shoot at you and dodge out of the way and then go for them. That opens up a little shortcut for us there. And up here, that opens another shortcut, as well as a little fairy gem. Some experience, and I'm gonna stick around. Although I'm gonna be, I'll be, I'll be back. I'm gonna use your services at one point or another. And now here we are at the Durian. This is the uh, volcano area, though. And don't worry, those rocks will never hit you. They're just there to uh, scare you or something. This place can actually be kind of tricky. That rock actually hit me, or was that a ape? I don't know. Lou, huh? That was another one of Dr. Leo's pets. Like, uh, Turbo the dog. Fifteen layers remaining. But anyways, this, this place is, uh, kind of tricky in that there's, like, a lot of monsters, and... It's really easy... If you're kind of a little sloppy, to just take tons of damage, and you might have to end up making more than one trip here. I'm gonna try really hard to. I guess you can get hit by those falling rocks, or at least the little fire pillar they leave behind. But anyways, I'm gonna try really hard to not have to make more than one trip here. And that little gray ape up there. We can't actually kill him yet. Ah! I just want to keep an eye on the gray dude. Just, uh... Make sure he doesn't throw any rocks at you. Or at least that the rocks don't actually hit you. And in terms of, uh... Being careful, I'm not doing the best job, ever. Uh, I'm pretty sure I do want to make a point of killing all these little rock dudes. Hello? There you go. Luckily, you do get a bit of HP back whenever you steal one of these lairs. That's a nice chunk of experience. Or, uh, HP. And that was also the third dancer. 
So we just kind of make our way around the island here. Oh god. Stay away from me! I should probably really be dealing with these birds by magic, truth be told. Two more monster layers. Whoa, where'd that third guy come from? Luckily, apes are pretty easy to deal with. That opens up that area down there. That opens up that area up there. Ah! You know, I could swear before I came to this place here today that those rocks had never hit me before. And my health is getting pretty low, so... It's about time to equip that medical herb. And okay, we used it. Now back to the shield bracelet. Honestly, not surprised I ended up using that medical herb because, like I said, this place can be very hectic. There's lots of stuff going on all over the place, so... It's not surprising if you have to end up making more than one trip, and... I certainly don't feel bad using uh, that medical herb. And there we get another strange bottle, because the first two weren't... The first two didn't count. Kill the birdies! That opens up that. And this leads back to the uh, entrance, so if you want to head back, this is a good time to do it. But I am going to head up here. I don't think I want to go up there. Considering there's lava there, and lava is typically a bad thing. Now that I've started killing birds, I should probably try and kill all of them. Okay. So here's the little gray ape that we can't kill. One thing to note about that lava, the ice armor does nothing. It doesn't prevent any damage from that stuff. Okay, let's go like that. Ow, that lava hurts. Okay, see what that does for us. Another dolphin! No. Oh. What? Is he like trying to bash down the wall with his nose? That doesn't seem like something that would go very well. Come on, walk around the rock. These guys, this monster lair is of, of course rather annoying because it is in the middle of the lava. So you have to kind of wait for them to get within range and hope they don't just sit back and throw rocks at you all day. Uh... Okay, cleared out that monster lair. I'm gonna leave that chest alone for now. I think I gotta leave that monster lair in the lava alone as well. Oh, there's nothing down there. Okay. I'll come back for them. Bum, 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 bum. Coming around the mountain. Lots of apes! Lots of rocks! And there's a little shortcut for us. So that we can head up to the next level of the mountain. Only a few monster layers remaining. There's one up there. Uh, there's this one. 
that's where the birds were, so that lets us go up here. And now I'm going to equip the mermaid's tier. Which, if we touch the, the very top of this mountain, it uh, solidifies all of the lava and stops the rain. So, that's pretty nice. And now we return to some of these things that we neglected so that we can hit up all the monster layers and whatnot without our feet melting off. Because this lava does like a ton of damage. Like it's perfectly possible to step on it and live and hit up all these monster layers uh, without getting rid of the lava, but if you're doing that, then you're probably going to end up making more than one trip to this place. And that, of course, unlocked the next mermaid statue. Ooh, and the critical sword. That is, of course, the next sword. It's only slightly stronger than the psycho sword, but it defeats monsters at once. So what that means is that while the Psycho Sword had a chance of, or rather it did, uh, stun enemies that are immune to damage, like metal enemies specifically, the Critical Sword does not do that, which honestly at this point is probably a good thing. Instead, any enemy that you hit that isn't immune to damage, like this guy, uh, there's a chance that instead of just doing damage, you'll just instantly kill them. Which is handy. So anyways, uh, we're done with Durian. And we're gonna head back this way. No, I don't... Why'd I do that? I want to go back. It's weird, some of the uh, little fairy gems... Just like, repeat their little spiel when you first unlock them every time. And some of them just get straight to the point. Anyways, uh, now that we're done there, I am going to leave it here for today on this place, Soul Blazer. Catch you later.